Right everyone, pod review. My name's Jim, any UK, check us out. We're a, a group on Facebook that do chili challenges, reviews, all manner of chili madness. Go check us out, any UK, Facebook, also YouTube. Now guys, today I'm here to do a pod review. And looking at the description, it's the Burmese Naga, grown by Cliff Hislop, the owner of the De Devon Chili Man. There is his card, just giving you that little piece of info. So, here today, you can see I have a nice cluster of these Burmese Nagas. And you know me, I love a little piece of background info. Guys, Burmese Nagas, come from Burma, um, there was, the, the background story is that um, a man was called Grant Hustler, was going around the markets in Burma um, in a place called Mandalay, picked up some seeds from there, and now we have these Burmese Nagas, that's the original Burmese Naga, should I say, the seeds, these may not be them, but there we go, nice little story. Guys, these are a Chinince, <coughs> very similar looking to the Naga Morich, slightly smaller and <coughs> pointier. These look like tiny spears. Um, what can I say? It is a super hot. Did a little bit of research around this to see if, um, if I could locate the Scovilles, but guys, Alas, there weren't, so I'm going to give you a kind of range for what I know. 700,000 Scovilles to maybe around 1.1 million Scovilles in capsaicin. So, guys, I'm going to just select the one that I'll be doing. Hopefully, I'm just going to be selecting one that is slightly um, hot, firmer than the others. And I think I've located that, and it is the redder of the the rest so here we go guys they are slightly soft but hey let's not worry it is january so there we go <coughs> excuse me <coughs> there are one or two um dark seeds but let me just take them out and then i'll show you the inner pod so There we go, you can see the C's, the placenta, and the, the wall. Now what can I say? Yes, definite Naga smell. Um, the pod is a rather an empty one where you've just got the placenta, which just comes slightly, you know, um, down the pod itself. The C's look fairly decent. Can I see oils? They are, they are like, you know, I'll say it's dappled with, um, with oils itself. Yes, I will be saving um, the seeds, but there we go. I will remove one, or, I'll remove the black ones from there. I will keep as much placenta in that side as, uh, as I can. Yep, yeah, there is the naga. It does smell like it's going to be quite warm. Hoping for no bitter, bitter tones, but guys, did I mention the, the wall? This is on the, the, the medium to thin. Okay, it's going to be soft. Guys, Devon Chili Man, the grower, Burmese Naga, there we go. Now, guys, this is very different from other Nagas. I'm going to do a comparison near the end. <coughs> now, this one, I, did, I didn't get any fruit coming from here, and, but it was 
Then we pepper forward. The heat gave me a little respite in the beginning and then it just shot up. This one attacked the bat and then it just rushed straight forward to the tip and then it tucked under the tongue. And it's just, there's a, an onslaught at the front and at the back at the same time. I'm salivating massively. I did detect a slight bitterness, but it wasn't um, one that would make me think, oh, I don't like this, this is too bitter. But guys, this one, if I were to compare it to the King Naga, this is a lot hotter and a lot more aggressive in the heat and it doesn't have that sweet fruity um, nature to it. So this is this is this is a this is attacking um, my eyes are watering, my mouth is salivating, it peaked. It peaked and it's staying. Wow. This is a warm one, everyone. And I can feel it. And it's warm here. My lips are warm. The whole, the whole tongue is warm. I'm still salivating. And the eyes are watering. Wow. That was, that was warm, guys. And it is all like, kind of like the top. The roof of my mouth and it kind of just coats down and hits the back still salivating but guys this if this was to be in a excuse me this was to be in a sauce it would need to be coupled with some molasses to to give you some a little bit of sweetness powders it would probably take on a, on a on a different kind of note um, if you like pepper forward and a boot, I would go with <coughs> the Burmese Naga. Um, trying to hold back those <coughs> the hiccups. If you do like a fruity, sweeter tone, and also with the kick, I would lean towards the King, the King Naga itself. My eyes are watering. Wow! But yes, this is. A gripping heat doesn't grip for too long, but it is. It it stayed and then it's on the way down. I did enjoy it because I do like that pepper kind of forward note. But for those who like the fruitier notes, I don't know if this one would be for you. But there we go, guys. Gem reviewing the Burmese Naga. Grown by Cliff Hislop, the owner of the Devon Chili Man. Go check him out. Sources, all manner of business. Guys, in the UK.